you know, I, I, it was just exciting to me to watch teachers working with the parents tonight and parents so engaged with each other around learning something that that can empower them in so many different areas. To support, to monitor, and to advocate for your child. These are roles that we really have to be doing with our children throughout their educational careers. Come up with two ways that you are currently supporting your child. First and foremost is I make sure that they have everything that they need. I feel like I'm supporting my child just from being here to learn kind of tools and how to go forward. Making sure that I encourage a regular after school and evening routine. Keep track of your children's progress. Pay attention to their needs. What are you doing to monitor your child? Que abrir la mochila y sacar todo lo que hay adentro de esa mochila. Y en ese, ahí te vas a dar cuenta, tarea, papeles, el trabajo que hicieron en casa. Speak and make specific requests. Parents can also advocate for the needs of all children. So here's your question. What are examples of situations in which you have advocated for your child at the school or in other environments? How are you advocating for your child? Um, también aquí me pasó que Manuel no le quisieron poner en un programa de learning disabilities para uh -huh. que no pueda aprender. Y ahí tuve que ir con el doctor para que lo examinaran de, a ver si de otro modo a él lo podían acomodar en un programa donde él pudiera ayudar con lo que él traía. Uh -huh. Entonces, esa fue, triunfé, esa fue mi experiencia. Uh -huh. Porque yo lo hice todo lo posible uh -huh. para que él pudiera tener esa ayuda uh -huh. en los dos casos. Ajá. Pero eso es en general. Es en en general. general. Pedir recursos para progreso I had a, a, a stepson that attended this school last year and he came from a different school district in the fifth grade at a first grade level <laughs> and so by the time he graduated he was like reading like two and three reading levels above when he started and he ended up getting a president's award but that was just like really pushing for him in the district, like I need something to happen today, not tomorrow. So I'm like really hands on when it comes to my child. What could happen if you support and monitor, but you don't advocate? You're like the backbone for your child. The morale is up, that their mindset is right, and if you're not advocating them, it's kind of like you're not giving them that belief that they can do it. What could happen if you advocate, but you don't support and monitor? For me, it's confusion. I mean, it's like, you know, you're trying to help him on one side, but you don't know what he's doing in the classroom. And I couldn't answer these. I was like, because they all three go hand in hand. Like, yeah. Can we get someone to give us an example of what is something that you learned? I put my kids to bed early, make, make sure they have good breakfast and everything. And I didn't realize that as me supporting them until they brought it up. So I was like, you know, that's something that I was like, wow, you know, I'm doing all these other things too that I didn't realize that is actually really supporting them to their, with school and everything as well, so. Advocate, support, and monitor. I think it'll help me partner with the teachers because I realized I wasn't really, I wasn't really being as strong as of an advocate for my child as I probably should have been. It kind of made me notice, okay, some of the things that I don't do consistently, and I think it would be good for other parents to realize. That. Well, they all go hand in hand. You know, you can't do one without the other. I feel, or that's what I learned today, um, they're so important in your child's education because um, a lot of the times, I mean, they, they're going to school, but they, they can only do so much themselves. A lot of parents realized tonight that they were doing more than they even thought they were. It's literally creating a focus on what it is that you want to do, you know? It, it's clearing away all the clutter and getting down to the essence of whatever the action is. It's something that, that can make you more effective, uh, more, uh, more effective and more efficient.
They fit together so nicely, the three roles, support, monitor, and advocate. I feel like that can help us build trust and relational trust in particular with each other. Then we can do that important work of assuming good intentions on both parts um, to help to help move move our kids forward.